Hello, Chris Groff here from Kruger School of Applied Technologies. Today we're going to be learning how to move a sprite with the orientation sensor. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's create a new project and let's just name it orientation sensor. Make sure you write type it all together here. Or you could just shorten it to O sensor. Either one's fine. Click OK. The point of this is to learn how to do it. So we'll start by adding in the different components that we'll need. Under drawing and animation, we're going to add in a canvas, and this will be where the action takes place for our orientation sensor. And let's put the width and the height to 300 pixels. We need to add in an image sprite, so you want to make sure you drop it on the canvas here. And let's go ahead and upload a picture. Any 40 by 40 pixel image will work. If you guys are in my class, just go to the 506 in the App Inventor folder. I'm just going to go to the Ladybug Chase and I'll get a frog here. But any 40 by 40 pixel image, PNG, JPEG will work. We're going to need the orientation sensor. So under sensors here, you're going to drop in the orientation sensor. It's a non-visible component. And we'll also need a clock. So under user interface, go ahead and drag a clock into the mix. Let's go back to our image sprite here. We want to change up, or I want to talk to you guys about the heading. So the heading is the direction that the image sprite will go. And this is a nice little picture that describes it. If you want it to go to the right, you would give it a heading of zero. If you want it to go north, it would have a degree 90 degrees, or it would be set at 90 degrees. If you wanted it to go left, it would be at 180. And then if you wanted it to go down, it would go to 270. Okay, we're going to leave the heading at zero, and we'll call it to happen, or we'll make it happen, by using the orientation sensor's angle. And we'll do that in a second when we program the blocks. The interval we want to set to 10. We know that from our previous lessons that a thousand milliseconds is one second. So this will be 100 times faster than that. Let's go to the clock and let's set up the clock property to do the same thing. So we'll put the timer interval for the clock to occur every 10 milliseconds. Once you guys have that part set up, once where the, the components are added, let's go to the blocks and what we're going to do is create a procedure for this to happen. So we want to select the top one and let's name it move. And we want it to do two things. We're going to go to our image sprite here and we're going to set the image sprite heading Remember, the heading is the direction of the image sprite. So we're going to set it to the orientation sensor's angle. So we'll go under orientation sensor, and we'll select angle. And the angle tells which direction the phone is tilted in degrees. So depending which way the phone is being tilted, that's the direction that the image sprite will go. We're also going to set the image sprite's speed. So let's go to set image sprite dot speed. And we're also going to use the orientation sensor to set the speed, except this time we're going to use the magnitude. So orientation sensor dot magnitude. And what the magnitude is, is it, it's the number indicating the amount of tilt. So how, how much the phone is being tilted. Okay. And we're actually going to go into math here and we're going to use the multiplication. Let's drag this down into this first socket. So we're going to take the magnitude, the amount that the phone's being tilted, and we're going to multiply it by a value. And let's set that value to 100. Okay. 
Now it won't work yet because we have to call the procedure to happen and we're going to do that with the clock. So we'll get the clock, we'll get the block that says when the timer goes off do this and we want it to call the procedure. So we'll go to procedures and we'll get the call block for move, the procedure we just set up. Okay. So now what you can do is play around with it. You can always adjust this number here if you want it to go faster or slower. And you've just set up an image sprite moving with the orientation sensor.